Hey, hey guppies. guppies! Tonight we are hanging out at the boardwalk. We're gonna be eating at, what is it called? Pretoria Al Forno. I cannot pronounce it. <laughs> but that's where we're eating and we're super excited. It's one of our favorite restaurants and we love the boardwalk. There's so much going on. There's usually some like performers out here. There's a lot of, you know, walk up places. Um, they have the, what is it? Beaches and cream walk up window where you can get ice cream and stuff, right? Yeah, that's actually over, Cody's right. It's over at Beach Club Resort that one oh, right. um, but you can get there from the boardwalk the boardwalk is basically a, a, like it sounds a big circular boardwalk that runs from the boardwalk hotel over to beach club and then yacht club yes so yeah lots of good stuff to check out here yeah we are super excited so let's dive right in let's go <laughs> Guppies, we're walking up to the boardwalk entrance now and we see a minivan. It's some literally a minivan. I know, it's some transportation that they offer here to get, you know, from the airport to your resort or from resort to another resort if you have a dining reservation somewhere else from where you're staying. But yeah, here we are. Disney Boardwalk Villas and Disney Boardwalk Inn show place of the shore let's go on inside and check it out that is so pretty look at that chandelier wow that is huge and look at that mirror over there oh my gosh this lobby is so pretty this lobby is gorgeous it really is so beautiful And it smells great in here too. Every Disney hotel smells amazing. I know. Is this one of those scents that's on the scented candles that they have, you know? Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't those Disney castles? Disney princess castles? It sure is. You're right. Comment down below if you know each castle. Yeah, it's kind of hard to show on the camera, but. Yeah, right? Let me see if I do this. Yeah, like Cody said, each little gold frame here has a castle. Very cool. Never noticed that before. And then I love this over here. It's one of the roller coasters that they had at the boardwalk. Rock roller coaster in Jersey. Love it. This uh, elephant house. Yeah. It's an elephant house. And look at those Amazing. chairs with Almost the faces. That's awesome. Awesome. We're gonna go to dinner. So let's go head towards Trattoria Al Forno. And we're thinking about taking a quick pit stop at the Abracadabra Bar, which is right behind us, which I love magic. And so just the fact that they have an Abracadabra Bar is pretty cool. So we're going to head on in and see what they got going on here. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can get a seat. Like above the door, it says Open Sesame. Open Sesame. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this place, guys. Oh yeah, it looks like... I think so, let's ask. Is it first come, first serve? That's correct, yep. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So they have all these different posters for different magicians. 
Oh, look, they have this wall of tricks. That's really cool. This place is awesome. Oh, look. A stray jacket. Oh, this place is great. Look, they have comfortable seating. It's first come, first serve. It smells amazing in here. There's the bar and a bunch of seats. There's even outdoor seating. But yeah, there's Katie. I love all this artwork. Oh, look, the keys in the lock. Oh, and then a case of wands. And then, of course, you got the rings. Magic coins. Nothing like a good coin trick. Very nice. And look, I love on the exit, it has the clubs, the diamonds, spades, and hearts. That's really cool. And keys at the top. Look up there. Oh, yeah, a lock and key. Very cool, very cool. I love all the tricks and everything that you see. There's a deck of cards. Oh, so cool. Very awesome. I'm super excited to see what they have to offer. Well, here's the menu. So the Abracadabra Bar. Oh, look, they have snacks. Available nightly from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Good thing we're here. Abra fries. Margarita flatbread, charcuterie plate. Oh man, Katie loves her charcuterie plates. We have the handcrafted cocktails, oh, food, donuts, punch. I love that. Some of these names I'm not gonna even try to pronounce, but you can read them. Got featured cocktails, a bunch of great drinks. This looks like a fun menu. All right, guys, we decided to get the Conjurita, which is El Mayor Tequila, Contro, Simple Syrup, and Lime Juice, which the waitress said this is a popular one because it changes colors. So I'm like, super excited to see how that works. Sounds pretty cool, right? So let's dive right in. Look, this is really cool. Katie just noticed that the wallpaper is magic things too. Look, there's the bunny rabbit like a bird, has the rings. I saw a lock and key, oh there's the lock and key. The spades, it's pretty cool right? I love all this. Oh and the rope, she's right, it is a rope. That's really cool, I love it. I love all the magic stuff in here. Like I said, I love magic and this stuff is just so cool to me. The handcuff cane, the handkerchief tricks, magic of the hands. Very cool, very cool. Sorry, got these. Katie said it's the Abracadab bar, not the Abracadab bra bar. I so I like mine better for sure. But you know, that's what it says. Can't argue with it. But they should change it to the Abracadabra bar. Figure magic wand. Okay, oh really? Yeah. Sure. Girl? Magic wand. Oh. You do it, baby. You oh, do here it. We go. Hey. Perfect time. All right, wave it over. <laughs> Abracadabra bar. Now, stir your concoction. Stir my concoction. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Mm -hmm. Change these colors with magic. That is so crazy. Now, make it disappear. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Easy yeah, part. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Awesome. All right, let's see what this tastes like, Buffy. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's very good. Yeah? Well, I like that a lot. I like that. Okay, but you have to try this. Does it taste like a typical margarita? Or? Uh, yeah, it has a margarita taste to it. Okay. For sure. We know it's good. And we love our tequila, so this is yeah. very nice. Alright, Katie, you have to try it. Alright, my turn. Alright. Okay, Here's Katie turn. trying the drink. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, right? That's a good margarita. That's a good margarita right there. An abracadabra margarita. Mm, yeah. I really taste the lime juice. I like it a lot. Right? Very nice. Very Not nice. Sweet, it's good. Oops. I know. Oh, dropping some ice. Oh, now, mm. like the waitress said, we're trying to make it disappear. Ooh, look how good that looks. It's a pretty color. Pretty color. So magical. Mm -hmm. I love it. We did it. We made it disappear. <laughs> Wait, there's a little bit more. <laughs> it's gone. Abracadabra, come back. Oh well. Sad but now we get some Cosmos from 
Trattoria Al Forno. You did it. it. Yeah. You did it, y'all. Okay, guppies, we just finished at Abra Kadab Bar, and now we are headed into Trattoria Al Forno for our dinner. And these actually connect, so it's a nice place to go grab a drink before your dinner at Abra Kadab Bar if you're eating here at Trattoria. And there is my husband. We actually sat at this exact table before, so it's perfect. Okay, let's take a look at the menu for Trattoria Al Forno. Let's see what we're gonna get today. Okay, they've got lots of good starters. Calamari looks good. Oh, the charcuterie board. Yes, the bruschetta looks good. Yes. I think we're gonna go with the bruschetta and the truffle gnocchi. Which is our favorite. Which is our absolute favorite. We wanted to show you guys because I feel like not enough people know about the truffle gnocchi and it is just divine. I mean, you can't go wrong with some gnocchi and some truffles. So. Yep. So let's dive right in. Here they have the wine menu. And it's great because it shows you all the different, you know, regions in Italy and everything and all the different glasses, which is pretty nice. All right. As you know, Katie and I love our Cosmos. Which last time we were here, we got a Cosmo and they did the little limes on each side, like Mickey ears, which was adorable. I think I still have a picture of that. We'll put that on the video maybe. And it's just great. But honestly, the last time I had a Cosmo here, it was pretty good. And this looks good. It's pink. Nice little lime wedge in there. So let's see. Cheers. Nice little date night. No kids tonight, parents. Ooh, very good. Yeah, definitely. Very good. Very good. I put this at third on my list, though. Third? Yeah. What's second good. again? First, Boathouse. Boathouse. Second, second, Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Where is that? Third. Where is Charlotte again? Um, the United Kingdom. And Africa. Yes. At the Rose and Crown, Crown Bar. Bar. Yes. Charlotte makes a good one. And this is our third. Mm -hmm. It's good. Very delicious. All right, well, I'm gonna make now this one disappear, just like we did with the margarita. Okay, and the bread service just came, and she said it's a garlic confit. I think is what she said, yeah. Anyways, it looks like a lot of garlic and some olive oil, and then these little- Ciabatta breads. Ciabatta breads. It's really so, good. Yeah. See what we can get into. How do I eat this? <laughs> Do I spread it on there? I would pull it apart and dip it. Oh. But I mean, do as you will, please. Okay. Sir. And so like I get some of yeah. them? There you go. Okay, there exactly. you go. Nice, good bite. Let's see. I've never tried this. What is it again? Garlic. Oh, I love garlic. Something. I think she said garlic confit. Good? Very good. Mm, I'm going in for one more. <laughs> And that garlic. Look at that. Yes. It's very delicious. Is it super garlicky? Like overpowering or like? No. Okay. Mm. That bite tastes a little different. Oh, really? Yeah. No, it's still good. It wasn't as garlicky, but it's still good. I like it. I don't know. That second bite definitely gave me hesitation, but the first bite definitely. I, I guess I got the garlic on that one. Right. And it tasted good, but let's see what Katie didn't realize how small they were. Yeah, so Katie's weird. talking about how cute the little oh, ciabatta breads. Baby ciabattas. Baby ciabattas. Oh, yeah, there you go. That was a good bite. It literally just looks like, it looks like mashed up garlic cloves. Right? Mashed garlic cloves. Mm. It's good. It's really good. You have to like garlic though. If you don't like garlic, you're not going to like this. Well, that's we know we're not vampires because we love garlic. Right. It's not my favorite. I thought no. we had something different last time we came. I don't remember this at all. Yeah, this is different. Like, even the fact that I came in that little bag and everything, and then mm -hmm. I don't, I feel like I would remember this. Right. But I do not. Oh, you like it? Yes, because I love garlic. Yes, of course, always. But if you don't like garlic, you're gonna have a problem with it. But I'm ready for this. Ooh, smart. 
pepper it up. But I'm ready for this bruschetta and the truffle gnocchi. All right, the bruschetta just showed up and it looks delicious. Now, just so you know, this is usually a plant-based option, but since we got the mozzarella on top, it obviously isn't now, but you can get it strictly plant-based. But that looks absolutely delicious. Katie, go for it, I dare you. Oh, here she goes. Remy, uh, Remy. Katie loves bruschetta. Remy, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> that crunch. It's got the crushed tomatoes. Like we said, we got it with the mozzarella. And it has some sweet balsamic vinegar on top. Aged balsamic vinegar. Yes. Aged. Okay, much better than the bruschetta we had at. That Disney one Spring. restaurant. Yes. What was it called? Disney Springs. Carolina? Half to the top. Yes. Like, this is beyond. Yeah. Yeah, no. This is my favorite Italian restaurant on Disney property. Honestly. Besides, what's the one right when you walk in at Magic Kingdom? Tony's? I just love that because of the location. That's why. But this food here is definitely... I Much the better. Has a great location. Yeah. yeah. All right, my so turn. Good. My turn. My turn. All right, here we go. I don't even understand how you're supposed to eat this. Stuff. Like, should I go for this whole tomato? <laughs> yeah. What's the top? That is the best we shot. Right. Super juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And I'm not a tomato guy, honestly. I do not like tomatoes like on my burgers or by themselves, but the balsamic and the mozzarella and those tomatoes are so fresh and juicy. Like, this is delicious. I don't know. I'm going to get so messy eating this. Alright, we got our gnocchi, truffle gnocchi. And look how delicious that looks. We have the fried cheese on top. That gnocchi looks so delicious and the truffle sauce. Oh man. Alright, Katie's gonna be the first one. Oh yeah. Let's see how she likes it. Honestly, we've had this before and we love it. It's just as good as I remember it. Right? You got sauces, everything. Yes. And then gnocchi is super pillowy and soft without being too mushy. And these Parmesan crisps make it delicious. Delicioso. All right, my turn, my turn. All right, you gotta get that sauce. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm super excited. That is the best thing I've ever had. This gnocchi and that truffle sauce, you cannot go wrong. I'm telling you, I love gnocchi, I love truffle. I always said I wanted a pet truffle pig to find my own truffle pig. I would eat that just raw. I might eat it all so Katie doesn't get any. Let's see what this tastes like. It's just Parmesan cheese. It's a Parmesan crisp. Delicious. Actually. I know. So good. I love Parmesan. Me too. Very good. Mm. A wonderful dish. Trust us. Come here and try the truffle gnocchi at Trattoria Al Forno. It is totally worth it. All right, guys. We finished it. It was absolutely delicious. Here's the last bite. Bye. Katie doesn't want it. She's full. So I am going to enjoy this the last bite. It's a beautiful sunset. Oh, and look. Here comes one of the awesome bikes that you can rent. They're super fun. They have a little baby seat in the front. Everyone gets to pedal. 
Look, here comes another one. That was a three-seater. Here comes the uh, six-seater one, which is awesome. And it's fun. You get to go all the way around the loop. So you go through the boardwalk. You're going to go all the way around to Yacht Club and all that, past the swan and the dolphin, and then come back around. And those are a lot of fun. Remy, Max, Katie, and I did them one time. Now, parents do most of the work, of course, but... <laughs> It's still fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a good way to see the whole boardwalk. <coughs> like I said, it is a beautiful day. Beautiful night. All right. Let's see what else we can find. They have this walk-up pizza window, which I believe you can get full pizzas. And you can also get them by the slice. And they also have a mini cannoli, which is good. And then you got Joe's Boardwalk which is margaritas, which they are delicious. And then they have the Boardwalk Deli here, which I believe is a quick service, sandwiches and stuff. It looks like they have the resort mug refills in there and you get drinks and desserts, pastries, sandwiches, fresh salads. And then they have ice cream over there, which looks fun. And I, it was a fun night, a nice little date night with me and Katie, it's super nice. The kids are with the grandparents right now, so they're having a good time, we're having a good time. And we had a lot of fun at Trattoria Al Forno, yep. had some good food, got to go to the Abracadab Bar, which I've never been to. Yeah, and it was our first time. It was our Finally. first time, it was Love awesome. It. We made the drink change colors and they had all the cool magic tricks in there and everything. Man, that was really cool. I, I definitely want to go back there. I mean. The prices were a little, whoo, yeah. but you yeah, you definitely only want to get, split a drink, get one. Cause honestly, when, after that one, I felt, we were good. I was good. I was like, okay, that was good. I feel good after that one. So yeah. it's definitely an experience to go to. And then the boardwalk is great, especially for a door, uh, date night. You know, they have a lot of great things here. Shops, they have a pool, which is awesome, which we'll have to show you guys sometime. Yeah, it's probably one of our kids' favorite water slides. Yes. Say. Of all it, the resort pools, this, Resort pool is really, really cool. Yeah, it's Minnie and Mickey themed. Yeah, right? it used to be a clown, which scared yeah. me yeah. a lot. But now, yeah, you're right. They've changed it to exactly. Mickey and Minnie, kind of like vacation theme. But yep. yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and then they have shops, like I said, and they even have a dance hall here, and which yeah. we've never been to, and yeah, I oh, I want to do it so bad. And jelly rolls are doing pianos. They're, they're oh, yeah. We can't. There's so much to do here. Yeah, so. we'll definitely yeah, a show lot to more check and more. out for sure. Yes. We'll All right. Bring you guys back. Yes, for sure. And just don't forget, just keep swimming. Until next time. Bye. me out here today. Our director was one in a little late, so I have my friends Remy and Max. They're going to help me out, okay? Ready? Lights, camera, action. Beautiful. And now we have Tangled. This is so awesome, guys. 
to be able to be sitting here in these nice comfortable chairs with my lantern so relaxing and to watch Tangle which is Katie's favorite movie this is literally Disney magic at its finest right here people I'm telling you Remy was just playing and Max was just playing and the cast member her name was Jay came up and just saw Remy and was just like will you help me tonight and so Remy and Max got to set things off with some lights camera action and we got to be the family of the evening so awesome I love it here because Remy and Max always find friends to play with. And Max is over there playing soccer with a couple of boys and he's having a blast. These are just great moments to have at Disney, especially if you live here. You just come for a nice dinner and you get to, you know, hang out and play and have magical moments like being family. Reserved for family of the evening, which is amazing. With great seats. And there's so much going on here. There's entertainment. There's kids everywhere. People are renting the bikes. And just having such a magical evening here at the boardwalk. So we just had that super magical moment where we got to be the family of the evening for the movie Under the Stars, which was awesome. And a cast member, her name was uh, Jay, um, was super awesome and made the whole night happen. And it's great because if you have the app, you can go on there and do a cast compliment. And basically you can go on there and just say that like Jay from Orlando, Florida, um, made my evening extra special. And it's great because then it gives the cast members recognition and their management will give them, you know, praise and everything. and. You know, and they really did make a magical night for us and made us feel super special to be family of the evening. So I'm super excited about that. So just so you know, have a nice night. Absolutely 